hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last video we talked about the file system utility in the databricks now in this video we will be talking about the widget utility so let's quickly start i'll start with the db utils command and we know widgets dot help right so it will give us the help all the functions or everything which is there uh, available for the widgets like we, we can create one widget with the combo box one widget with the multi select one widget with the text and maybe with the help of drop down as well right so widgets are basically uh, basically they will provide you a way to parameterize your notebook okay so if you wanted to parameterize your notebook you can basically use these widgets now let's quickly see how we can create these widgets first of all then we will see how we can use it in our notebook so let me create a simple widget first of all let's say text widget okay this one and uh, if you see here it takes three parameters so the first parameter is the name it will be used to uniquely identify any widget okay so i'll name it as a let's say text box or something okay now the second argument is the default value if you wanted to have some values in this text box you can keep it over here if you don't want any value you can keep it as blank and the third value is blank if label basically if you want to put some label to your text box you can use this particular value like this in simple string right but if you don't want what you can do you can keep it as it is and the text box will be the text uh, box will be created with the help with the label called text box or you can put it anything i'll just uh, just uh, keep it like this okay you can put any name over here. It, it, it takes only string so if I run this, you will see one widget on the top of this particular notebook. See, right? So in the same way, you can create multiple widgets over here. Let's say, I'll copy this four times. Let's say you can create multi-select or you can create drop down. You can create combo box. And for all of these, the syntax will be same. Okay see it needs a string on default value and the string of values which contains all the uh, list of values right in the combo box we can have more than one value in the drop down we can have more than one value in the drop down right the only thing is we can select one values right but in the multi select you can select multiple and again you will be having the list of choices right so what i will do i'll quickly create it i'll name it as drop down as i said i'll be naming uh, in this way so that we can easily segregate it okay and let's say the default value is samsung or something and then i need to provide the list of values right which i want in my drop down so let's say my default value first of all and then uh, i can put more value like apple or uh, geo something like that right uh, in the same way I can have values for drop down as well. So instead of drop down, I'll keep it as uh, multi select. I'll, I'll write as like uh, let's say boys or something. Okay. Um, um, something like that. And the same name as well, right? The default name. And in the same way, you can write for combo box as well. okay let's say girls here i'll name it as Sita. okay the, and the default value as well so whatever sequence you'll give the same you'll see that uh, values uh, you'll see the widgets will be created and the values in that widget is in the same sequence see all the widgets are created this is drop down this is multi-select you can select multiple values right this is a drop down you can select some drop down values and this is again the comma box if you remove it you'll give the all options like sita gita girls right so it is up to you and the text box whatever you will write you will be able to get that information now if you want these informations 
to be printed right let suppose um, there is a method basically to retrieve the values from this widgets okay so there is a method called get and in the get you will be passing the name of the widget let's say comma box drop down multi select or text box so if i put it over here text box right it will give me the value of the text box so if it is 10 it is 10 if i say ram and if i or, or let's say if i say my and if i hit enter see now the output is my correct if i say test output is test so based on the values whatever we select over here the page will run and it will give you the output in the same way you can have a result for others as well like say instead of sorry to change it let's say for drop down if i run this you will see apple right because apple is selected if you select samsung value will be samsung so based on the values you will select for the drop down your values will appear okay and your, your notebook will run the values in the same way you can work for others as well right because we have two values if you have one value you will get one value so what i'll do i'll create a variable and i'll hold the values of these widgets okay so if you see i have created the variables for this one and i'll keeping them uh, in uh, in widgets okay basically in a variable basically and then i'll be printing i'll i'll, I'll hold all these variables in a single variable called them okay and then if i print this term it will give me the results so if you see here right it will it is giving you the result if you change it apple now this notebook will again run and you will see if you select apple and hit 10 okay and now if you run this notebook drop down result apple right so it is up to you whatever values you select here you'll get the value out of here okay now run it again as i selected zero now we'll get the zero so this is how you can use widgets in your uh, notebook okay so thank you thanks a lot for this uh, video now i'll be creating another video where we will be calling this notebook as a uh, as in another notebook okay with the help of another widget called it called as notebook so I'll close this video now bye thank you